Okay, the first step we're going to do is wash our greens. And when you're choosing collard greens, choose big, beautiful, sexy leaves like this. No holes. And to remove it, you simply just take your fingers and just slide it up the stem like that. See? Simple. I'll do one close up so you guys can see. You just take your hand, slide it up. Let me see. Yeah, slide it up like that, and then there's the leaf. And you throw this part away. Very simple. I'll do a few more here. I have a lot of greens. Mm, love them. Okay, that's it. We're going to save these for later. And I have them right here in a colander. What I'm going to do is just rinse them off. Now you want to rinse these things a lot because collard greens are very gritty and dirty. So, and you can wash them like right in your sink. I prefer to use a colander. You just want to wash them. You kind of scrub them like this while you're washing them. And you want to wash these at least about three times just to make sure they're really clean. And you want to wash them um, just until the water runs clear. You don't want any grit neck of these things. washing these greens. Mommy, mommy. I've had about, I've washed mommy, them probably about mommy, three times. Mommy, yes, yes, mommy. Yes. Hey, I washed them about three mommy, times. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt mommy, to it. This will kind of help get rid of the grit if there's, if there's, what, 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 what? Hi. Hey, if there's any grit mommy. left on here, the salt will remove it. I'm just going to put that salt on there and just kind of toss it around. Get that grit off. I didn't have much on these greens. Just rinse it really good. And the water's running pretty clear. Then I have the next batch over here. Mommy, I'm mommy, drying them right mommy, now. Mommy, I'll put those in mommy, there. Add a little bit of mommy, salt. Yes, babe. I yes. What are you saying? You talking? What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, and these are pretty much mommy, these are mommy, nice and washed. Mommy, mommy, They're pretty much mommy, ready to go. Mommy, yes, babe. them out and I'm gonna let them dry out a little bit. I've washed mommy, and I have dried mommy. these greens a little bit. Now to cut mommy? them, so Isaac what? Some people mommy, like to just mommy, stack the mommy, greens up like mommy, this. Mama, like maybe mama. seven or ten and roll them up like that and then just cut it with a knife like that. But I prefer to just tear it like this. All right, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil in a large pan. And on this plate, I have cut up about half of an onion and three garlic cloves. I'm just gonna put these in this pot. And I'm gonna saute them a little bit 
just so they begin to release natural oils. Okay, the onions and garlic have been sautéed and they smell so good. This is going to add so much flavor to the greens. And next I'm going to add about mm, three cups of chicken broth. Just pour that in there. I need a pot. You have a pot. Go cook right there on the floor and you have a pot. And now we're going to add in a big old fully cooked smoked turkey leg. Now you can use pork if that's what you like um, but just make sure that it's salted and smoked this is fully cooked salted and smoked smoked I'm sorry it's a turkey leg so just go ahead and put that in the pot it's kind of big and we're just gonna cover it up like this turn the heat to about medium we're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna reduce the heat and simmer for about 30 minutes we want the smoke flavor from the turkey leg to get in that broth and then it's gonna we're gonna put the greens in there and um, it's gonna give the greens a nice smoky flavor. Oh and also I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Personal favorite. Give it a little zip. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alright, bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat, simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, I went ahead and just cut the turkey off the bone because that turkey leg was entirely too big for this pot. But if you have a big pot, go ahead and leave the bone in there because it adds a lot of flavor. So now we're going to add our collard greens. And as these cook and wilt down, you'll have more room in your pot if you have a whole bunch. This should all fit in my pot. And it does. Great. So we're going to put these in here. We're going to turn up the heat to maybe like medium. We do not, you don't want to boil these things, trust me. You want to kind of steam them. So just put it maybe like on, mm, I'm going to put mine on like a low medium. That should work. And you just cover it up. And you want to cook this for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, the greens have been cooking for about 30 minutes. They're nice and tender. They look delicious. And they smell delicious too. I'm going to give them a nice stir so the ones on top can get some of that good old juice. There's plenty of broth in there. And this broth tastes so good, you guys. You're going to want to drink it. I love it. Cook them for about 30 more minutes. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. Alright, these greens are done. They are nice and tender. Maybe I'm going to get you a green. Mm -hmm. And now it's the time to add the salt and the pepper, the vinegar or more red pepper if you like. But I have already tasted these and these are perfect. So I'm only going to add maybe a few dashes of pepper. But if you are going to add the vinegar or more pepper flakes or whatever, make sure you add just a little bit at a time and taste it before you add more because it's really easy to over season these greens. But these are... I think you like it. it. You like it? Say, mmm, that's good. You want some more? Say more, please.